Friday prayers at a North London mosque. The British capital is returning to normal after Wednesday's attack, but still trying to make sense of killings carried out by a Muslim convert. He was a, he was a sick man. He was a sick man. It's an all too familiar pattern. In France, Belgium, Germany, and now London. Muslim communities thrust into the spotlight and not for anything good. Soon after the attack, this picture appeared on Twitter. It shows a young woman in a headscarf passing victims on Westminster Bridge. It fueled hundreds of racist hate messages, accusing the woman of turning a blind eye to the carnage. But the photographer also released this follow-up picture, showing the same woman clearly in distress. All part of what many here say is the deliberate distortion of what being a British Muslim really means. Islam is at war with the people who are doing this. Uh, most of the victims of people with this mentality are Muslims. If he's a real Muslim, he doesn't do that. Because he can't hurt people and kids and all this and you call yourself Muslim. How? We're grateful for this country because it has given us opportunities and I will defend this country. Uh, and it's got nothing to do with me or, the, or my religion, and I'm not going to apologise for it. The Prime Minister, Theresa May, says the best strategy for the government is to get back to normal, to come together as normal and not let the voices of hate divide the country. But in reality, things here are far from normal. Central London is still an active crime scene, an investigation is still ongoing, and there are people still in hospital, victims who are fighting for their lives. And here in London, members of the city's Muslim community believe that they're under growing scrutiny. They also feel like they're at risk of reprisal attacks. This and several other London mosques have been advised by police to increase their security. We are in a very difficult situation for the Muslim community. Uh, we hope that there is no um, reaction from some far-right extremists who might use this, uh, this uh, incident to spread fear, hate and, and racism among, among our society. The Muslim Council of Britain has condemned the attack and launched a fundraising project for the victims. An attack intended as an assault on the city's inclusiveness mustn't, they say, be allowed to divide us. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, at Finsby Park Mosque, North London.